to ensure that anybody, whether you are a religious person, you are a traditional person, you are a politician, you are a flag bearer or an MP who politicizes Kalamse operations in this country. This house must take action on that person. By tomorrow, the minister should appear before parliament to brief us what they are doing to address this import, uh, uh, serious problems. We all know now there is water shortages all over in Ghana, particularly in Kumase, particularly in Mansia, where the running mate of MPP is coming from. If we are to look and investigate, you polluted the water more than us. You polluted the water more than us. I would want to urge all of us to pursue this matter and not make those civil society organizations helpless. It's a serious matter, Mr. Speaker. It is a serious matter. And we know this alienation is very expensive. Are we now going to process seawater to drink? It will cost the nation. Now, Parliament could not agree to rescind a decision it took on July 30 in respect of a disapproval of the Finance Committee report on the $250 million financial agreement between Ghana government and the International Development Association for the Energy Sector Recovery Program. The minority side complained they had not been engaged on the new development concerning the loan agreement compelling the Speaker to refer the matter to the Finance Committee for consideration and report. It's one of the reasons members of parliament were recalled back from recess, but an agreement could not be reached when the item was taken on the floor. The finance committee was never engaged leading to this motion to rescind. And the, the majority leader was very categorical that on the basis of the conversations that took place, he engaged the finance committee. And so our position is quite simply that the decision taken by this house must stand and we are opposed to any refusal. To assume that we disapproved of this motion solely because of what Honorable Montaka said, for me is flawed. It could be one of several reasons, a multiplicity of reasons, an array of reasons leading to the rejection of this motion. And so even if you bring something that satisfies Honorable Muntaka, yes, with the greatest of respect, you've not satisfied that of Honorable John Jinapo. <laughs> Neither have you satisfied that of Honorable Akando in particular, yes, yes. <laughs> who raised a very serious issue as far as this whole agreement is concerned. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, the right thing to do, and they know the right thing to do. The House has rejected this application. You've had fresh information today, today. Relay it refer it to the finance committee, would immediately do justice to the issue, and then we will bring a report to the floor for consideration. The speaker had to refer the matter to the finance committee for consideration and report to the House on September 4. Evelyn Tinkma, TV3 News, Parliament House.